back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area, and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about organizing permanent filing. So uh, I know a lot of you have asked how to deal with the permanent filing either box or a uh, filing cabinet if you have. Uh, and I will be doing two versions of this video. Uh, the longer version will be going out to members and the shorter version will be going out to everybody. So everybody will get the same information, but uh, the members will get a little more of a deep dive. The thing with permanent filing is that it does need to be purged about once a year if you go through it and make sure that you're only keeping the information and the papers that are relevant to you. So there are three kinds of filing. Are there three kinds of filing? I think the three kinds of filing. So the first is permanent filing. These are things that you're keeping pretty much permanently and that you're but you're not actively dealing with like it's not something you have to sign or it's not something you have to mail to someone it's something that you have to keep um, but you are no longer dealing with so um, anything that's really hard to get another copy of say like a driver's license a birth certificate death certificate a license for anything you know college degree stuff like that that's permanent filing um, there's active filing which are things you're dealing with though these are things you might have to sign invitations you might have to answer uh, things like bills you might have to pay that's active filing that's a whole separate thing that doesn't belong in the permanent filing and then there's filing that is not really something needs to be filing it just needs to be thrown away or it's you know psst, out of here so today we'll be dealing with my permanent filing box that I got from Container Store. It is a Big Zo desktop filing box. These, I think these are pretty well uh, designed and they are uh, pretty popular at Container Store. I, I, I am a former Container Store employee, so um, I know that this was like a nice blush color that I chose for my office. So in the interest of privacy, I will be blurring out some of the stuff in this video, but I just wanna show you what's in the file before I start going through and uh, purging it. So as you can see, I've got fun. Well, I used to have a different color of this box, so the sort of colors don't really go anymore, but it's kind of cute, you know, it's like pastel. Uh, but uh, you can see I have these um, hanging files. This one says house, contracts, car. This one says super important stuff, my goodness. Jewelry appraisal, legal, Hub Neat, that was the former name of my business. It has changed, um, so I might need to change that label. Actually, we'll change that label. Um, Hub Neat Insurance, release forms, uh, then there's Clover, <laughs> Clover Dog, um, and then there's a little uh, packet in here of like kind of important things. Uh, and there's also my master's degree in here, which I probably am gonna hang at some point, but uh, not right now. My college degree's in there as well. Um, and that's just where I keep that stuff. So today I'm gonna purge a little bit and give you some tips and tricks along the way uh, about what I'm throwing away and what I'm keeping and all that stuff. I do have some new folders and stuff that uh, were gifted to me from Erin Condren. So thank you very much. They sent me these just uh, to play with and show you guys. And I think they're really pretty that they go with my theme. Um, so we'll, maybe we'll be replacing a couple of folders today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and take out this folder of very important things and check to see, oh, there's also, see, I've, I've thrown some things in there. I'm totally guilty of doing that. Uh, it looks like there's a bunch of loose papers in here. So we're gonna sort that out right now. My car insurance company is sending me things that, that need to be sent electronically. I just need to remind myself to do, to get in contact with them and, and do that. Is that, I mean, a lot of things just aren't really necessary um, to be sent in a, a paper mail. So uh, a good thing to do is to contact companies and ask them to send you things either electronically or to stop sending you these uh, notices altogether. It's just like a change of address notice and I've gotten it several times now. I always think it's a good idea to go through and purge these permanent files once a year at least, twice if you can manage it. I think Clover deserves like kind of a pretty, a prettier file. You know, he's Clover, he's amazing. Okay, these are really cute. Oh, these are cute. I like these. Okay, and I brought a couple, did I bring, I brought pens in here. Um, this is actually this pen holder, pencil holder, also from the Erin Condren um, collection and it's really cute. So we'll just put Clover on the, on the cover here, on the label. 
clover. And I'll put his file in there. Let's see, should I put this inside or should I just put the, I'll just put all the papers in there. folder look at the cat the cat bites is that not hilarious i i know what cat did this too this was little mini um that did this because <laughs> she liked to bite things um but she's no longer around she maybe she rest in peace she was so cute because organizing papers is so tedious, you have to go through and make sure that you don't have to shred because of personally identifying information. Make sure that you go through your filing pretty regularly. This is gonna help you be less overwhelmed by the, uh, the idea of actually just going through the files. Maybe I will um, put some of these in a replacement for some of the old ones that are kind of tattered. Here. Let's see. Oh, these are really pretty, okay. That's me. This is gonna be, okay, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> because a lot of you out there are pretty detail oriented, I'm going to tell you to resist that urge and be pretty broad when you're doing your filing categories. For example, if you're gonna do a file about your furniture, just have it be furniture, not bedroom furniture and kitchen furniture and bathroom furniture and office furniture. You're really gonna be better off having more broad categories than really detailed categories. Macro organize, don't micro organize. All right, so I've gotten them more organized. So I have this uh, whole system. This is the Erin Condren uh, folders that I got. I think they look really cute and nice and organized. And my biggest tip on organizing permanent files is to not get too carried away when it comes to categories. Think more broad macro organizing than micro organizing. You can really get carried away on, you know, getting organized by like micro categories like car 2015 and car 2020. No, just car. Like you don't need to get super, super detailed um, because it, you can really get it can really you can spiral so keep an idea of more macro file uh, categories than micro file categories you'll be much less stressed out by it all right it's a lot lighter and a lot more manageable i'm definitely going to be shredding and getting rid of a bunch of stuff um, it's going to be really really freeing and uh, my box is a lot more organized and ready for the new year even though we're like 25 days into the new year <laughs> All right, hug your file box. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Remember that it's not super overwhelming. You don't have to keep everything. You only need to keep the really important things that are gonna be hard to replace. And in, in terms of my life, it all fits in this beautiful little file box. All right, I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.